I'm going to show you how to use a webcam and audio to create a video that you could use as an introduction to an online class. First thing I'll note is that this uh, process will only work with PCs. If you have a Mac, you're going to need different software that I'll show you how to use in a different video. But assuming you have a PC, the first thing you need to do is get your webcam and microphone and make sure they're plugged in. Then the second thing you need to do is download this free software called Debut Video Capture. You can download it at this website. I'll give you a second to jot that down or you can just pause the video. And once you download it and then install it on your computer, you'll see an icon like this. At this point, it's very easy. You just open it up. And assuming your webcam is, is plugged in, you should be able to see yourself and then everything that you're doing should be showing up on the debut video capture software. Before you start recording, you want to choose your output format for your video. Since I have a PC, I tend to like WMV files, but if you have a Mac, you might like to choose an AVI file, whatever uh, works with your computer. Then you just hit record. And once the uh, video shows back up, everything you do and say should be recording on the debut video capture software. Once you're done with your video, hit stop. And as you can see down here, this little bubble popped up that said the recording was finished. To access your recording, you click on this button here that says recording. And as you can see here, this is my most recent uh, recording. Click on it. Then click Save As, and save it to wherever you want on your computer. I'm going to save it to my desktop. And there it is. And once the uh, video shows back up, everything you do and say should be recording on the debut video capture software. And as you can see, the recording uh, came through just fine. And at that point, you can use this video. You can upload it to YouTube. You can post it on Blackboard. Um, anywhere that your students could be able to access it. And it's a great way to be more personable in online courses and cutting out some of the distance in some of these online courses. Thank you.